Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem in Chapter Twelve. Chapter Twelve is about temperature, thermal expansion, and the ideal gas law. In the problem twelve, we talk about ocean water. At the ocean water, we have a mixed layer that is from the depths to the to the, from the surface to the depths of about fifty meter. So in this case. We can consider this D, this blue part as the mixed water. Is that works? Yeah. And then we can see, and as it tells us when the global warming, right, the temperature for this mixed water will increase 0.5 degree. So there's a T, 0.5 degree. And so there will be thermal expansion, right? And then ask you how much is the dips? For this increased volumes, so it's ask you how much is the dips for this orange part. This is a question ask you, and this part is ours, right? So we can see first one. Let's see what is given. So quantity given first one D is a fifty meter, and the temperature change, temperature change zero point five degree. And also, we can check our test book. Get the coefficient for thermal expansion for water for is this number right? Now we can see. Uh, we need to look at the blue part. This blue part, how can we do calculate it? The most easy one from our test book, we can get it as beta v delta t right. So beta is given. V we have the R e square the Earth's radius, and the delta e is given. Another way we can look at the picture to find the delta v. So we can see we can consider this is a surface for a spherical. This is a spherical surface. Agree? And the v, the volumes for this blue part is just the spherical surface times the d. Agree? Yes. And also the delta v is a blue part or the orange part is also the spherical times delta d, right? Because the d and the delta is super small compared with r e, so we can consider it as the spherical surface times the delta d, right? So you can see this equation must equal to this equation, right? So we write it inside. So this uh, left left hand side. Is the delta v by the spherical surface times the d, the change of the d for this orange part, and the left hand side is come from our test book, right? The thermal expansion, beta v delta. Now we replace the v as the four pi r e square d, right? This is we just talk about. Now you can see four pi r e square can be cancelled. Can be cancelled. Now we get function look like this one. Now you can see in this function, beta is given at zero, d is given, delta t is given. So you just input all the known quantities, get the answer zero. Thank you.